Okay, this time I got it for sure. Uh, got it all sorted out. I'm gonna sort you out if you don't open that damn door. No, I mean... Bingo! Bingo? Okay, that's not my fault. That's definitely caused by the black man. like someone has shunted the data we need off the server. Login name M. Nedich. Mylon Nedich? That name is coming up an awful lot, but we still don't have anything on him. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In any case, we need to get access to his computer. His office should be on the upper floor somewhere. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but... I see it. Power's coming back on. I see it, Grim. You got company. You might want to... I see it. Someone has shunted the data we need off the server. Login name M. Nedich. Mylon Nedich? That name is coming up an awful lot, but we still don't have anything on him. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In any case, we need to get access to his computer. His office should be on the upper floor somewhere. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but... I see it. Power's coming back on. I see it, Grim. You got company. You might want to... I see it.
I've been hearing some creepy stuff about Mylon. I'm not sure I trust that guy. Yeah. I heard he got drunk with some of the guys in Istanbul last month. Wandered out of the bar looking for a fight. They found him the next morning, covered in blood. What? Yeah. Stan thinks he killed someone. Read a newspaper article the next day. Istanbul police found some guy cut to ribbons just a couple of blocks from the bar they were at. Whoa. I think we should try and get on his PC in the executive offices, see if we can find anything. The code to the area is 2346, but I don't know the code for his actual office. Fine. Well, if I find out what it is, we'll go together. All right. Sorry to bring you in here so late. We need to put some extra men on, on the Zerkazy detail. Your name, kid. Zerkazy? The wacko in the penthouse uptown? Well, it's perhaps best not to refer to our client as the wacko, but yes, him. Or rather, his penthouse. Milos Nowak is, uh... Who? Milan. Milan Nedic. Crazy Slavic names. I always get them confused. Anyway, Zerkazy is out of town, so there won't be a VIP, just the property. Okay. Sounds like a breeze. Well, it hasn't gone perfectly smooth so far. You'll get the full VIP rate, and you'll be on duty as though there is a package on site. Okay, got it. Good. You reported 1300 tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. Damn it! I could have sworn I saw someone down there! Zerkazy? The wacko in the penthouse uptown? Well, it's perhaps best not to refer to our client as the wacko, but yes, him. Or rather, his penthouse. Milos Nowak is, uh... Who? Mylon. Mylon Nedic. Crazy Slavic names. I always get them confused. Anyway, Zerkazy is out of town, so don't be a VIP, just the property. Okay. Sounds like a breeze. Well, it hasn't gone perfectly smooth so far. You'll get the full VIP rate, and you'll be on duty as though there is a package on site. Okay. Got it. Good. You reported 1300 tomorrow. Okay. I'll be there. supposed to be here. Tell me something useful and I'll leave. Ah, uh, forget it. I won't tell you anything. Are you crazy? We're on the 60th floor. Uh, what? What do you mean? You know, it's not true that you go unconscious before you hit the ground. You see it coming the whole way. You... You wouldn't... You want to convince me not to? Uh, uh door code to the executive offices is 2346.
Nice suit. Italian? Oh, oh no! Oh, Italian. Yes, the Florentine silk. Andretti? Who's Andretti? Andretti? The famous designer. Men's suits, tuxedos. I'm not a tuxedo kind of guy. But, but you are some kind of spy. Yeah, I'm the real kind. Not the tuxedo kind. I'm the kind of spy who gets blood all over your Andretti unless you give me information. Oh, God! Please, don't ruin my suit! How about a door code? CEO's office, 2609. Hokkaido. Hokkaido? Isn't that basically the Alaska of Japan? Yeah. Looks like Mylon Nedich has secretly relocated Zerkezi there. Interesting. Now we definitely need to talk to Shetland. Will its State Department handle that mess? You're going to Hokkaido. We're sending a helicopter to evac you from the roof. As happy as we are to be back online here in New York, our thoughts turn to our loved ones who are defending us on this beautiful 4th of July. We go now live to the Yellow Sea where sailors aboard the USS Clarence E. Walsh are celebrating. We have Seaman Anthony Palmiera from Brooklyn, New York. Tell us, Seaman Palmiera, how you'll be celebrating Independence Day. Well, the captain's gonna have a, a big barbecue on deck, and tonight we'll have our own fireworks. <laughs> Talk 
Incoming! Captain, all of our command systems crashed. Nothing's responding. Seaman Palmyra, can you tell us what's happening there? Sit tight, Sam. I'll call you back. It's the Koreans, Mr. President. I recommend that we declare war immediately. If it was Korea, there would be 200,000 men coming over the DMZ right now. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe uh, an exercise. A, a test launch gone wrong. That's impossible. The Koreans can't even detect the wall. Never mind track it on radar and sink it with a 30-year-old Chinese anti-ship missile. I have reason to believe the ship was crippled with an information warfare attack. Not a chance. The Walsh's systems are... Unhackable? The Walsh's EW suite is built on kernels first identified by two of the world's leading computational theorists. One of them was found dead in Peru last week. I'm about to pick up the other one. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not sure what we've just witnessed here, but I'm afraid something terrible has occurred. Amazing what they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? World's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Mylon Nedich. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make the Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job. I'm not. Is that so? You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. Your buddy Nedich is dirty. Cut him loose. Unlike other employers, I don't cut people loose. If you got evidence against one of my guys, I'll help you bring him in. But I'm not gonna send a man up the river because you say so. Fair enough. Just stay out of my way. Thanks for the advice. In case you change your mind. Fisher, if I can't throw the Joint Chiefs a bone, we'll be at war in the next 24. I need you to bring in Zerkezi for questioning. Mylon Nedich has moved him to Hokkaido for protection. I have no idea if Shetland is aware or involved, but I'd like to find out. However, it turns out, don't let your personal concerns get in the way. In my opinion, there are too many coincidences here. Zerkezi is the only living person who could have orchestrated the sinking of the Walsh. Even if the Koreans did launch the missile, it would almost certainly have required Zerkezi's help to actually hit the ship. And this business with displays. I know you don't want to hear it, but I think Shetland's dirty. The kidnapping of Morganhold, the protection of Zerkezi, relocating him after the blackout, it stinks. Looks like displays rented out the entire retreat. It's low-tech and quiet. Don't expect servers and security. Expect aware guards in tune with the environment. You're going to need to rely on more traditional methods, up close and personal. Japanese ISDF conducts low-level monitoring of the activities of anyone employed by a PMC for as long as they are in the country. We discovered yesterday that this place has rented this retreat, and a number of our agents printed microphones in the location. Unfortunately, we were not adequately prepared for the increased importance of the location. The microphones are detectable using standard tools. Needless to say, it would be best if this place did not find them. 